Hey, Noob Noob, guess who's going to wish they'd stayed in America? Brittany Griner. Well, I mean, sure, but we're talking about Sam Bankman Freed? Sandy Bankman Freed. Whoever that is. That guy in jail, but not in the U.S. Now I'm thinking you'd rather be in pound you downtown federal prison in the U.S. than the jail in Bahamas, right? I like the better weather, so I, I think I'd go Bahama pounding. Well, maybe I could change your mind, but let's go right to the breaking news on Orku. We break them all. Instead of Bohemian Rhapsody, it's Bohemian Ass City. <laughs> it could be. FTX founder Bankman Freed arrested in the Bahamas. U.S. Attorney Damian Williams confirmed the arrest in a tweet. He's on Twitter. Shocking. He was arrested for doing sex acts to coconuts for money. Well, <laughs> I mean, with his 10 other roommates. He's very broke now. Yes, apparently he is, except he was living in a multi-million dollar was estate he? in the Bahamas. Yes. What a piece of shit. Absolutely. They uh, confirmed the arrest of the 30-year-old former billionaire and political mega donor in a tweet from his office's accounts. And uh, I don't know if they're gonna they're gonna let him go out on bail. They don't have any bail reform there in the Bahamas. Early this evening, Bahamian authorities arrested Samuel Bankman Freed at the request at the request of the U.S. government. Well, I'll be shocked. I thought he was about to testify in front of the House Financial Services Committee. Wait, so the U.S. did want him arrested? I guess they asked for it. I don't know. I do know that the Bahamas, the banks in the Bahamas seized like $540 million already. So they got their share. That was a while ago. From yeah, here. that was like, that was part of the collapse, like really kind of set it in stone. But yeah, he was about to testify in front of the House Financial Services Committee, probably to help them, you know, like regulate crypto a little bit better. For those of you who are unaware... Bankman Freed was the wonderkin 30-year-old billionaire approximately worth $19 billion who lost it all on a gamble when he gave his girlfriend, the CEO of another company that he also owned, money to prop them up because they had made some bad bets on a cryptocurrency that they'd created that only he could control because he didn't like Bitcoin because he couldn't control it. So he made his own coin. Oh, wait, that's how he lost all the money? Yeah, his coin. He was paying vendors in his coin, and his rival from, I think it's from Binance, took said, oh, I'm divesting all of my shares of this crypto because I don't think it's worth anything. And that caused the, the crypto to drop to be worth nothing because everyone else followed his rival and was like, oh, well, if he's getting rid of it, I'm going to get rid of it. Oof. So suddenly all of this money that he had in crypto got was basically worth zero. And then it just plummeted from there. And he started moving money around to save the other firm, which made FTX illiquid. Uh, you know, he was using customer money to prop up his other firm that was run by his girlfriend. So Ponzi schemes. Exactly. Oh, boy. So he's a criminal. I don't know why he'd be voluntarily testimony uh, testifying in front of Congress. They should have had him in shackles. Uh, they're probably going to sue Tom Brady and a bunch of other celebrities who were. Oh, that's right. He, he backed FTX, right? Yeah, so did yeah. Giselle. Huh? Oof. That's why they got divorced. It yeah. Wasn't, it wasn't the unretiring. It, it was, wasn't the unretiring. It was all the money they lost in FTX. All the crypto. Yeah. <laughs> the FTX group's collapse appears to stem from the absolute concentration of control in the hands of a very small group of people, of grossly inexperienced and unsophisticated individuals who failed to implement virtually any of the systems or controls that are necessary for a company that is trusted with other people's money or assets. <laughs> yeah, that's probably what's a good, good not to do. Oh, boy. You know, he's been saying, like, I didn't try to commit fraud. I mean, but you did. Just because you didn't try to doesn't make you not guilty. Oof. Uh, it looks like they were holding him in custody pursuant to our nation's extradition act. So probably should have fled the country. I think the Bahamians weren't letting him leave the country either. They were like, yeah, you sit tight there, bro. But why would you go to a country that has extradition? It's kind of dumb. Well, that's where they, he was, like, holding all his offshore accounts and stuff. Still, don't you like if you have a warrant for your arrest in Bahamas? Can't they just easily just go and arrest They're, you like they did? That's what they did. But yeah. where else are you gonna go? You gonna I don't go? Know. You can't run a bank. Aruba? Uh, you, no, they probably have extra edition too. Jamaica? But what I really think is gonna be fun 
especially for him, is, is this. Oh, no. I found this article article on Barbados Today. It's a little old. It's from 2019. But I, I you think there were some sweeping prison reforms in the Bahamas? I doubt it. Yeah. <laughs> so if, for many inmates, hopefully it's a maximum security uh, facility because he's very dangerous. Uh, the Bahamas Correction Services... <laughs> Preparing for bed means mopping up sludgy puddles of feces and urine. I figured there were shit involved. <laughs> Dusting off aged cardboard mats and laying down to sleep in a small torrid prison cell. Aids cardboard mats? Uh-huh. Cr- oh, no. <laughs> cramped with f- amongst five or six other men. Sounds like heaven to you, doesn't it? I feel like it, they don't do? talk about the the AIDS epidemic in prisons, right? No, they Isn't there a not. lot of AIDS going around in prisons? Probably not. Well, the, the gays, though. It, well, in the cells, which were, were built to hold no more than three inmates, uh, I guess they hold six. Oof. And apparently their arms are draped over a n- neighbor's in. knee, <laughs> a waist, men sitting or reclining with someone's feet at their head. There's a lot of sweaty black men together. Oh, my gosh. Visit the prison. <laughs> Rodents could be seen sneaking around in the shadows of windowless cells. <laughs> Dogs don't deserve to live in a state <laughs> that their maximum security is in. What do you mean dog, dogs deserve to live in better things than humans, so the humans should l- live in the shitty... No, no, no. That article's wrong. Yeah. So I I hope they put him in, in a Bahamian jail, and uh, it's not that... Ex- you know, I hope he, hope he enjoys himself. Maybe a himself. rat would just, like, eat his asshole. It's quite possible. Yeah. So I'm going to say I doubt that they have, like, high-quality jails there, right? Like... You don't think it's like an all-inclusive? Yeah, I don't think it's one of those. Not an all-inclusive? You have like some water slides? No. Um, Not probably where, you know, Wesley Snipes or Martha Stewart stayed in those like high-end jails. Did Wesley Snipes stay in a nice jail? I think he did. Oh. I hope he did. Good for him. He deserves it. He probably paid for it for all the taxes he didn't pay. (laughs) His taxes. Yeah. The taxes he didn't pay paid for his, the few that he did pay paid for his all-inclusive stay in federal prison. Yeah. Doesn't I don't think it was federal pound you downtown prison, but yes, that's the story. Excited? I yes, please. We broke the story, and we broke the whole. No one else is covering the terrible uh, prison conditions. So share this yeah. so other people can learn we, that the Bahama prisons. We hear at Orky were about prison reform, not just not fit in for the humanity. U.S. <laughs> just not in the U.S. We yeah. want it reformed everywhere but the U.S. Specifically, only in Perhaps tropical Guantanamo countries. Guantanamo Bay. We, uh, we where is that? Where is that at, though? Cuba, is it? Gitmo, yeah. Oh, okay. So if you want to be kept up to date with all things Sam Bankman Freed, because we don't normally cover all this stuff, <laughs> but you're interested in hearing about prison reform, which we also don't cover, but we do cover movie reviews, news, fun stuff like this. Like, subscribe, and share. You might end up, you know, if you don't share it, you could end up in a prison cell with Noob Noob. You don't want that. And I will he do unspeakable things with my Bitcoin. I was going to say he aggressively eats the booty. Tongue and teeth. <laughs> all the way. Yeah. So like, subscribe, share it. We love all y'all, but we are on to the next one. Oh.